Yep, that is the rain. So luckily, we can work in the garage. Um, but like I said, we need to get some hardware first. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Jorge, and today we would be talking about my Pro Charge Pontiac G8, which is in the garage. But as you guys can probably see, the weather is not that great. Um, looks like it's about to rain, and there's actually uh, some things that I've got in store for you guys. But it pertains to this thing. So right now we got to go to the store, grab a few hardware bits and pieces, see if we can get something that'll help us uh, make the new addition to this car much, much easier to install. Well, guys, this is my Chevy SS. Um, it is my daily. It's what I use to get to and from work. Obviously, uh, the G8 does not cut as a daily anymore. Um, and I felt like I was not giving it as much attention as once I got the G8 back. So there was a awesome product uh, that I found on the forums uh, and decided to give the SS some love and I ordered it and it just arrived last Friday, I believe. And it is gonna definitely give this car a nice updated look and um, it is definitely gonna make it look really nice and as I say that and talking about the bad weather check it out yep that is the rain so luckily we can work in the garage um, but like I said, we need to get some hardware first, look for some tools that will possibly make this easier. Um, so right now we are on our way to Harbor Freight. I know, uh, but that's Harbor Freight has some very, very inexpensive tools, especially if I'm only going to be using it once or twice. Uh, no need to be buying super quality, premium, expensive tools. So we're going to go and look for a rib nut or nut rib or whatever they call it uh, but basically a way to rivet in a screw nut hole for a um, mounting mounting hole all right guys we are at harbor fright and it is just down i think we might find it here in flyers here we go there we go guys and I believe this is the one that we're looking for. It's a 45 piece threaded rib nut riveter kit. Now they have these, which are like the pop, pop in ones, but that is not what we want. What we actually want is a threaded, which I believe this also works. So I'm not sure which one, which I believe that's what we need. So we will go ahead and take this and looks like we have number six, eight, tens, and quarter inch, which is what we're looking for, quarter inch, 20 inch. And um, so how does it work? Thread properly sized nose piece. Thread, rivet, nut and nose piece. Squeeze tool to secure rivet nuts. Unthread. Seems pretty easy. Hopefully this will work. Alright, so we've got our rivet nut tool. I got a few bolts and now we just gotta get in the car. This weather is crazy. Man, just check that out. Look at that. It is pouring. And it's been like this for the last week, week and a half. So, as you guys can tell, I haven't been able to do that many videos with regards to the G8 because 
with the drag radials and all that there's not much you can really do and well you gotta do what you can right so hopefully this rib nut tool works um i i don't know how i feel about the actual rib nuts themselves that come in that kit so if i don't get it installed today it's because i went on amazon and found some rib nuts a little bigger and i'm gonna be trying those and so i don't mind waiting a day um especially if it's gonna mean that it's gonna be more secure these rib nuts are kind of short on the shorter side um so it doesn't look like they compress as much so i'm gonna be looking for a, some of the longer ones that'll actually allow me to compress farther uh and, and wider um so we'll see but for now i gotta deal with this rain and driving back home all right so we are back home and i've got my stuff um so we'll open the garage and try to see if i can slide the car in well guys i've got the car kind of set up there uh, hopefully that's enough uh space uh down below there hopefully there's enough space down there to be able to work around with the tools but um I'm gonna show you guys right now exactly, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got for the SS, and it is amazing. All right, guys, here it is. See the splitter. Now, what I was mentioning to you guys is this plate here is for my stow and go uh, removable front plate. Now, I probably, because this extends slightly farther out, I will have to modify the actual plate bracket that slides all the way in to maybe have it clip before the, the splitter end. But, it actually clears just right so this comes pre-drilled with quarter inch holes I believe it's 11 and so I'm gonna go ahead and re-drill those and then use my rivet nuts to go ahead and secure this tightly using a quarter inch bolt so let's go ahead and get the work process started it should be pretty straightforward guys I'm excited. I'm glad. I'm super glad that the license plate bracket actually uh, will clear and I don't have to remove that because that, like again, this is my daily drive. Well guys, I was going to go ahead and install this thing, but unfortunately, I don't have all the proper tooling and the rib nuts that I got at Harbor Freight did not seem like they were going to do a good job of really holding that thing in place especially on plastic that can heat up and you know move around i mean if you guys can see here they're very thin um looks like i wouldn't really get much of a bulging out of it um, so if you guys can see it here it was going to be very very thin not really going to get much of traction which is great on something that is going to be stationary and doesn't move too often but not so great whenever you are doing 100 plus mile an hours or whatever the case may be high high rate of speed with wind winds you know just chopping at that front splitter so i figured uh, better safe than sorry i will be returning this kit so since this cannot really be safe um, especially with these type of nuts and also this kit only came with 10 of these and like i mentioned earlier we need 11 so i was going to be missing one anyways so i figured instead of just ordering some more of these i might as well get something that's going to be able to get this job done right correctly so i went ahead and ordered some an actual says here it is a hand wrench threaded insert tool but as you can see, I can probably, just, instead of using this L-shaped hex nut, I can just use a drill with that hex bit, and it'll work the same. So I've got this, and 
also a 25 sets of these longer, better multi-grip um, hex nuts, which should give give me much more space and and ma make sure that the front is way more secure than these little thin ones. So hopefully that works out well. It should be delivered here in the next couple days. And until next time, guys, I will give you guys the update and hopefully show you guys of me putting that on. Uh, unfortunately, the weather's been really bad here. As you guys saw, it is raining and you can't really do many car things when it's raining, unfortunately. But hopefully the rain will clear out and we'll be able to get back to the track again with the G8. And if you haven't seen the track video, make sure a uh, link will be at the end of this video. Um, it, the, the car had a couple issues at the track, but they're already fixed and I'm ready for this car to really, really show what it's made of and what it can do. So until the next one, guys, I hope you guys are having a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload, even though it didn't have too much going on. Uh, but still want to just let you guys know that I'm still here. I'm still going to be making some videos and still getting things out there. So until the next one, guys, hope you guys have a good one.